You are in the presence of Tamaj Tate, first of his name, protector of the seven kingdoms, conqueror of the great game of thrones, breaker of copyright, father of a dog, and king of the ashes. My lords, my ladies, we are gathered here today for House of the Dragon, season one, episode five, We Light the Way. So yeah, last episode was chaotic. Um, Damon took Rhaenyra out to the city to live the common folk life, and they got book wild and busy up in the city, and uh, she was being spied on by Otto the Hand, and um, yeah, so obviously word got back to the king and queen. They were not happy, um, and I, Rhaenyra went back and slept with um, Sir, Sir Christian Cole, and so they obviously it was just like a one-off. She just kind of wanted to have some fun. She kind of got teased in the brothel, but her and Damon didn't actually do anything. But people believe that, you know, they have. And King Viserys told Damon, get your ass out of here. Go to, I think, the Vale with your wife and don't come back this way. Uh, and then he sent one of the maesters to give Rhaenyra, uh, well, it wasn't milk of the poppy. It was... Uh, some ugly, some ugly concoction to um, get rid of any unwanted uh, children, basically. <laughs> any mistakes that will uh, threaten the future or cause beef. Because she's now about to marry Lanar from House Driftmark. I think I got that right. I'm getting good with the names, y'all. Um, so she said, I'll agree to that so long as you fire Otto because he shouldn't have been spying on the princess. And, um, she's like, he is trying to get me off the throne. He wants his grandchildren on the throne because King Viserys made it, you know, very plain and simple that she is to sit on the throne. He's not going back on his word. Um, after making her heir, he's like, I'm not going to do that to you because he does care about her and her well being. Um, so yeah, he was fired. And so let's see what's, what they got going on. It's getting messy. It's getting messy. Uh, full and early reactions are available on Patreon, y'all. Let's do it. Once again, praying for more dragon violence. Well, not even violence. I just want more dragons. Like, can we just spend, like, some of the episode in the dragon pits? Like, I just really want to see dragons. Good morning, Lady Rhea. Cousin? Lady Rhea. What's today's quarry? Rabbit? Dear. Fine challenge. Capson Company? I'd rather ride alone. Good fortune to you. Good fortune in the rides to come, my lady. Uh-uh. Not that being a troll guarding the road. And there goes Rainy. She did a little bit longer, y'all. She did six minutes today. Husband? Oh. Damon. Oh, this is his wife. Lady Rhea. What brings you to the Vale? Oh, have you at last come to consummate our marriage? The Vale sheep might be willing, even if I'm not. Our sheep are prettier, after all. Or perhaps your brother has at last had his fill of your company. Cast you aside in favor of a little girl. Uh, even the horse is like, uh, What will you do now? Will you... Strike the child down. Oh. oh, he gonna kill you. So he's free. Wow. She already knew he wasn't shit. She just figured it out too late that he was about to kill her. It's a company today. I think she broke her back. Or her neck, something. I knew you couldn't finish. Craven! Oh. <laughs> Yo. Ugh. Damon is so chaotic. You never know what he's gonna do. Not the king being seasick. Got a new hand, huh? Oh yeah, this was the one guy who offered some pretty good advice in the one episode. He was the master of something, wasn't he? I don't think it was Whispers, it was master of laws or something, right? 
Oh, they're going to Driftmark to me. She got to marry. It's true though. You put your own wants and needs above everybody else's. Now speak your mind, Allison, and this don't is regret it. The king will die. It may be months or years, but he'll not live to be an old man. And if Ramirez succeeds him, war will follow. Do you understand? The realm will not accept her. And to secure her claim, she'll have to put your children into the sword. She'll have no choice. You know it. You're no fool, and yet you choose not to see it. The time is coming, Alicent. Either you prepare Egon to rule, or you cleave to Ramira and pray for her mercy. Wow. <laughs> they really send Alicent and Ramira to be enemies, and that's crazy. Because they are the best of friends, and no. <laughs> I don't believe that would happen. I mean, I believe the realm would have some issues, but they don't get a choice. <laughs> like, y'all common folk don't get a say. Y'all just common. Like, y'all don't get, even get to come up in the castle. Like, so I don't understand why, I don't know, whatever. Like, Rhaenyra has a whole ass dragon. What is any other house gonna do? Because Daenerys burnt this bitch down with one dragon with one, and I'm sure Rhaenyra's will do the trick. Where is Lord Corliss? He should be here to receive the king. Uh -oh. More Welcome kids? Hide, hide race. What is the meaning of this lady, Lena? She older. Is this how House Valaria greets its king? My father has been just returned years. from his long journey, and he has hastened to the Hall of Nine to await your grace's arrival. Let's just get on with it. He must still be mad that uh, he didn't marry Lena. An outsider among the natives. Lord Laris. No, Baileys. Rare Bloom. Indigenous to Brabos. By all rights, it shouldn't be thriving here. The weather has been lovely. Indeed. And yet it is a dark day for the realm. Her father was a good man. As is yours, he took his place. And so, the manner of your father's departure, you feel something of an injustice. What do you know of the manner of his leaving? When one is never invited to speak, one learns instead to um, observe. Sure. You are perhaps in need of an ally. I'm the queen. I have no shortage of allies. Naturally. Princess Venera, for example. State your purpose, my lord. I did wonder if she could be relied upon now that she is unwell. Unwell? I haven't heard anything. Feels like another auto boy. Your grace may be mistaken. It's just that on the very same night your father was dismissed, the Grand Maester delivered a tea to the princess's chambers. Mm -mm. More spying, more gossip, more whispers. Tea? Yes. Mm -mm. That the Grand Maester himself brought. At the direction of the king, as I understand it. Now, I do hope she's trying to make well. her distrust Rhaenyra. Rhaenyra sailed with the king to Driftmark yesterday at daybreak. Oh, what good news! I must have been an error, a relief. So I thought for Melos himself, her condition must be something very serious. What happiness mm, it is! That was an auto ploy. He's trying to plant mean? seeds of um, mistrust between Rhaenyra and Alicent. Otto must be stopped. Oh? Come, cousin. Let us discover what might be had for breakfast. I don't like the vibes of this, y'all. It just feels weird. Like, the Lord of Driftmark ain't coming to accept the king, and now everybody else ain't allowed in the room all of a sudden. Now they trying to, 
I don't know, they're talking about the king dying and playing seeds of deception. Uh, it's, it just feels weird. Your grace. The bowing? Oh, okay. Taking your time with it. The king ain't, ain't well himself. He, he getting old Rise, Lord and Corliss. he's sick. Lord Corliss. Be welcome. Now, if you would show. This is Rhaenyris, right? Are you well? Very. I congratulate you, Lord Lionel. Mm -hmm. I can think of no man more suited to be the hand of the king. That is very kind of you to say, Lord Corbus. His grace has honored me with the post. Pity about Sir Otto. Despite spending most of my days in this grandeur of the Red Keep, the halls of high tide never fail to impress. You flatter me, your grace. Though I do wish we could meet under happier pretenses. How so? Damon's wife, the Lady Rhea Royce, has passed. A hunting mishap. Mm. She was thrown from her horse. He ain't gonna believe her that. Her neck and skull both crushed in the fall. A most surprising end. Lady Rhea's skill as both rider and hunter were well known. Exactly. Indeed. So that's why I don't add up. The man Lady Rhea was a fine woman and a good wife to my brother. Sad thing that she and Damon have no heirs to succeed her. She stood to inherit Rimstone. Perhaps we can turn toward happier pursuits. Oh. Thank what you. did you have in mind, Your Grace? <coughs> I wish to propose a marriage between your son, Selena, and my daughter and heir, the Princess Rhaenyra. It's long past time our houses were united in blood. The last pillars of old Valyria. You honor both me and my house, your grace. But there are certain details I would wish clarified before the Princess Rhaenys and I could accept this most generous proposal. Now all of a sudden you don't want What it. details? We would like to know how the succession will be handled. Right, because you got sons. Rhaenyra is my heir. Upon my death, my throne and my titles will pass to her. She and Selena's firstborn child, regardless of gender, Will inherit the Iron Throne from her. Can I presume that, in keeping they want with the tradition, their children would take their father's name, that they would be born Valarians? Surely, Lord Corlys, oh, you are not proposing the Targaryen dynasty end with my daughter uh, simply because she is a woman. You want it to be the. I only seek clarity. Okay, I see. <laughs> Might I have a chair brought in for you? No. He's not doing good, y'all. Upon their birth, Selena and Rhaenyra's children shall take their father's name, Valaria, in keeping with our traditions. However, at such time when their firstborn ascends the Iron Throne, he or she will do so bearing the name Targaryen. Mm. Yeah, you're not Dragons dynasty. will rule the Seven Kingdoms for the next hundred years. Just as they did the last. You don't like that. This is an equitable compromise. Good. Now, if there's nothing further. They don't seem to fully please. But maybe they are, maybe I'm just misreading it. Chorus isn't I'm glad it's you. I don't know. He ain't given a lot of emotion. He just asked a question. I know this union is not what you would choose. I hold nothing against your cousin. No. Dare I say it's a matter of taste? Oh. I prefer roast duck to goose. You're saying he like boys. I cannot say why. Where's that, where's trying it's to not say? for lack of trying. There are those who like goose very well. I find it a bit greasy for my taste. What are we trying to say here? Why are we talking about roast beef I and know gooses? That whatever agreement being struck up there will not change your appetites. Nor will it change mine. Y'all, if y'all say what y'all mean. And what do you propose? I'm tired of reading between the lines. Say it with your chest. That we perform our duty to our fathers and to the realm. And when it's done, each of us dines as we see fit. Oh, so do what we gotta do for the public, but on the side, we gonna, we got a little <laughs> side piece. She probably wants some Christian coal or something like that. Overextended myself, pushed him too close to the edge. My cousin chose to sail into this tenderest husband. It's undignified of the king to drag himself here and 
beg for Lenor's hand. Beg Where's Lenor? Isn't exactly the word. Here and here are walking the coast. Good. Do they seem familiar? They grew up together. Familiarity is not at issue. I'm sure Lena was already taken with her. She's grown quite comely these last few years. You know his true nature. He's still young. He will outgrow it. There is no pleasure in the world like betting a woman. Yeah, we are I was placing right. our son in danger. The lords of the realm bent the knee to Rhaenyra and swore obeisance to her. That was before there was a true-born prince named Aegon Targaryen. Rhaenyra's succession will be challenged. Knives will come out for her, her husband, and for their heirs. Our house controls the realm's navy and half its dragons. Mason. Anyone fool enough to challenge Rhaenyra's claim will be crushed. Just what end, callers? Wealth, power, pride? I mean, we know Aegon, the Mad King, becomes... By all rights. You should be queen so. of the Seven Kingdoms. <sighs> True. You were robbed of the crown. I never you... wore the crown because the realm would not have it. And I would remedy that small-minded error by any means necessary. I myself have put the business behind me. Mm. I've always the day. There, there's a lot of drama. There, they added a little no. bit of pepper to this episode because it's spicy no. all around. Now. Leave? Of her own free will to continue partaking of. I had a feeling things. when I first seen these two. I've come to meet my fate, and you make a jape of it. The Rhaenyra will be queen of the Seven Kingdoms, and you will be her king consort. <laughs> Think of the tournament, with the feast, the battles at sea. Only wear your crown today, Rose. <laughs> You're a fool. This is exactly what uh, Marjorie and Renly was going to do. They was going to pretend to be what they needed. And then after that, this is they just go and do what they want to do. Politics. I knew she likes a Christian Cole. I knew it. I mean, if that's the deal they work out, I don't see foresee that being the issue. It's like kind of like what Otto said and what um, the queen who never was, Rhaenyra, said well, people are going to challenge them. So, to see you, princess. that's gonna be the issue <laughs> when it comes to succession and yeah. Um, you have confided in me now and then. Over the years of our acquaintance, I feel. You forgive me. I, I, I know you a bit. You know more than a bit. I've heard you say so many times how you loathe the lot of your position. That you are to be married off at your father's whim with no thought given to the yearning of your own heart. And now the day comes. Selena is a good and, and decent man for you. You did not choose him. He was chosen for you. That's true. If there were another path, one that led to freedom, would you tread it? It was a little too late for all that. Before I came here, I was in life in Stormland. I have deep knowledge of the port of Sunspear where I've seen the ships of Essos setting sail with their holds full of oranges and cinnamon and I've always wished to see where they went. Are you asking for me? I'm asking you to come with me. Away from all of this. From the burdens and the indignities of your inheritance. Let us leave it all behind and see the world together. We will be nameless and free. Free to go where we like, to love as we like. You could marry me. Y'all should have ended this though. A marriage for love, not for the crown. She took too long to choose. She ain't, I don't think she's gonna do it. But she's low key I chaotic. So, Christian. Oh, I will be. And they chase them the duties. Do you think I would choose infamy in exchange for a bushel of oranges or a ship to a shy? It is my duty to marry a noble man from a great house, and Selena will make a fine husband. But? But my um, a marriage does not have to be the end. So this that Lena and I have an understanding. I've gone to leave to pursue his own interests, and in turn he's gone to be the same. Put it together. So you want me to be your whore? Mm. Yeah. I want us to continue as we began with you as my small protector. 
My white knight. I took an oath. You broke it. As a, as a knight of your king's garden, an oath of chastity. I've broken it. I have absorbed my, my, my white cloak. It is the only thing I have to my fucking name. I thought if we were married, I might be able to restore it. The Iron Throne looms larger than me. Larger than anyone in my family. Egan the Conqueror united seven kingdoms and put them on a path. So Kristen. Mm, nah, he wasn't. He wasn't for it. Damn. She thought she found a compromise, a loophole, and he's like, no. I'm going to sit my drink and mind my business. These folks is grown. They got dragons and all. Right, who am I to give my two cents? <laughs> they go do what they want to do anyway. The king is not well. I fear he might not survive this episode. He, every breath he, he takes, it looks like he's closer to his last. Look, that's what I'm saying. Leeches? So, Kristen. You've been summoned. By who? I left the princess just minutes ago. Not the princess, sir. The queen. Sir Kristen, your grace. <laughs> At least I got <laughs> full-time babysitting, shit, huh? I fear I must question you on a, on a delicate matter, Sir Kristen. I am your servant as always, my queen. Concerns our dear princess Rhaenyra. It just hit me randomly. The other lady's name is not Rhaenyris, it's Rhaenys. But spelled like Rhaenyris, but it's Rhaenys, right? You are sworn protector and rightly loyal to her. Right. The night of Damon's return, there has been a rumor, or rather, my father received an accounting of a lapse of morals. Mm, you don't know about this. That may have occurred between Day is making this as it messy as possible. For this me is to crazy. Question the virtue of the princess, whom I hold in highest regard. But I, I did, however, wonder if I'm not unaware that in flush of youth, there may be errors made, breaches in resolve, yeah. breaches or rather lapses. It happened, Your Grace. The sin you allude to, I have committed it. That's not what she was saying. Instigation it is true, but that should it is no excuse. I think you spoke. My oath has been broken. I have dishonored myself. I deserve no consideration. She's like, whoa, whoa, whoa. The math ain't mathing, cause you you but doing algebra and I was doing geometry. As a clement queen, you are inclined to pity. I would ask only this. That rather than gelding me and having me tortured, you would sentence me mercifully to death. He that heartbroken? He that hurt. He like, if I can't have it to myself, I don't want her at all. I just want to die. That's Thank crazy. Thank you for your honesty, Sir Kristen. She ain't violent. I don't think she make a any of that. She only care about the truth. Yeah, I, I don't think you got to worry about repercussions, but... Rhaenyra, on the other hand. I think part of her is relieved it wasn't Damon, but another part of it is like, really? I don't know how she's feeling. We gotta wait till the conversation Rest happens. Now, this is crazy. I will bring the leeches. I took the liberty of preparing a fresh set of herbal poultices that might be more effective. That will not be necessary, or well. The leechings have always brought his grace relief. <clears throat> Listen to what the other person is saying. Sometimes you need to try something new. I don't want no damn bugs on me. Right. To help him sleep. What, milk of the puppy? Where's the creed? I was given to understand that she is otherwise occupied, Your Grace. You like, y'all trying to kill me, or? Will I be remembered as a good king, Lionel? Your Grace? What will they say of me when their histories are written? I have neither fought nor conquered, nor suffered any great defeat. You were a peaceful king. Some might call that good fortune. It hardly makes a good song, does it? We sang at feasts in hundred years. Five hundred. You have carried King Jaehaerys' legacy and kept the realm strong. Is it not better to live in peace than to have songs sung after you are dead? Yeah. Perhaps. There is a part of me which wishes I had been tested. 
I often think that in the crucible, I may have been forged a different man. Many that are tested only wish to have been spared it. Right. Now, another lord your hand is speaking back. That I would rise like it on the conqueror given the chance. Your grace, that is your right. As always, it is perhaps best not to know. I see a drag. Oh, I, I see two dragons. Okay. Ask and you shall receive. Is the start of the royal wedding celebrations. Royal well, wedding. Yeah, wedding. <laughs> Y'all know how them turn out. Jason Let me Lord. hold on to my seat, cause Lord of the West, and master of you know, too many good weddings in Game of Thrones. Adele, Lord, she is not happy. Congratulations, Your Grace. You have made a fine match for the princess. Thank you, Lord Jason. I can think of no better man than Selena. <laughs> well, if this is only the welcome feast, I admit I cannot imagine what you might have planned for the wedding. Oh, my daughter is the future queen. I wanted this to be a wedding for the histories. He's doing better today. Where is the queen? I hope to pay my respects. I understand the queen is still readying herself for the celebrations. This is why men wage war. Because a woman would never be ready for the battle in time. <laughs> She's like, okay, leave. <laughs> Your presence is always such a pleasure, Lord Jason. Princess. And he the Lannister. Y'all know I can smell a roach a mile away. Your I Chris. think that was a Lannister. Princess Rhaenyra, congratulations on an order. We are very honored to have you as a guest, Gerald. I must say, I was most distressed to hear of the Lady Rhea's tragic passing. I'm very sorry for your loss. Lady Rhea was a unique character. Mm -hmm. Her kind is not soon to be seen again. If there is anything the Crown might do to aid House Royce or to... Lord Corus of House Valarian, Lord of the Tides, Master of Driftmark, and his lady wife, Princess Rhaenys Targaryen, and their son and heir, Selena Valarian. The future... King Consort. I like the music. The Valarian. He is so annoyed. And where is the queen and what is she doing? My betrothed. My betrothed. Look, he's so mad. His heart is broken. So Christian Cole has standards. He said, I will not be your whore. <laughs> Damn. I mean, to be a queen's whore, is that such, you know, a worst <laughs> fate? Oh, our chaotic king has entered the room. Don't challenge him for Rhaenyra's hand. I don't know if they can do that, but. That's the problem with Damon. You don't never know what he's gonna do when he walk up in the room, but you just know it's gonna be chaotic. He said, loud ass scratch. Be welcome. As we join together in celebration, tonight is only its beginning. We honor the crown's oldest and fiercest ally, House Valeria, reaching back to the days of old Valeria and the Age of Dragons, with House Targaryen and her- Uh-uh. No, don't die right now. We ain't even marry off. Uh-uh. Oh, the queen. I thought he was gonna fall over dead, y'all. Mm, the music getting crazy. Y'all, these weddings be messy. I don't know what's gonna happen. She looked like she ready to spill tea all over the room. The king will not be happy right in the midst of his speech. The beacon on the high tower. Do you know what color it glows when Old Town calls its banners to war? Green. Oh. 
Uh oh. Congratulations, to your daughter. What a blessing this is for you. Is she mad because Renira lied and now her dad got removed? Uh, they they didn't seal the deal. The beef is Kate real. With House Targaryen and House Valarian united, I hope to herald in a second age of dragons in Westeros. Keep it short and sweet. And after tonight's small affair, seven days of tournament and feasting. At the end of it all, a royal wedding between my daughter, my heir, your future queen, and Selena Valarian, the heir to Driftmark. Christian Cole gotta watch it. Oh, they are making, and him. They're making sure that you get to see all the messiness. Damon, you need to go find something yeah, safe to do, sir. It's not much different to combat. We shall hope for a different outcome. They would definitely make uh, well their cousins so they know each other, so. Like I said, they, like they said, they're familiar with each other. So they're comfortable. father's shadow you might wither in King's Landing, son. But you stood tall. You know that Old Town stands with you. I want to know what she going to do. They said that when the beacon turned a different color, it means war. Green means war. In the veil, men are made to answer for their crimes. Even Targaryens. Mm. And who are you? Sir Gerald Royce of Roomstone. I am cousin to your late lady wife. Ah, yes. Terrible thing. I'm positively bereft. Such a tragic accident. You know better than anyone. It was no accident. Are you confessing some guilt, Sir Gerald? I am making an accusation. Mm. You know, in King's Landing, men are made to answer for their slanders. The truth is, I'm glad you've come. I wish to speak to you about my inheritance. What inheritance? Lady Rhea and I had no heirs. As her husband, whatever she was due, now passes to me. She stood to inherit all of Runestone, did she not? Mm. After my niece's wedding, I plan to fly to the Eyrie and petition Lady Jane myself. Perhaps I'll see you there, Sir Gerald. Wow. Yeah, he making his own political moves. Look, the hand of the king said, let me sip my tea. Look, he took a big old sip too. He's like, I don't want nothing to do with that. I don't even think I know. Oh, I got a little bit of something left, y'all. Let's sip what I got, because tension is in the air. I'm just waiting for it to go silent. Somebody to say something crazy. Because this is a long scene, and we get to see everybody's faces. Lena said, I'm going to get my ass on the dance floor. Oh, not Damon didn't hit the dance floor. Everybody's showing up and showing out. Officially a wedding, but I'm uncomfortable. They make a handsome match, don't they? What? He going the princess. He's the So Joffrey long with you. Joffrey. The night of kisses. They call me that. I'm on the watch. What's your business? You don't know me, Sir Kristen. 
chapter, but we are both deeply invested in this union. If you have something to say, Sir Geoffrey, speak it. Sir Lane was quite dear to me. As I know, the princess is to you. That we should swear to each other to guard them and their secrets. Because if those are kept safe, and so are we all. Hey, Sir Joffrey is very observant, very smart. Granted, he knew what to look for. Look, they lit. Hey! Look, King Viserys, he hungry, but he watching, he like, I'm watching them motherfuckers. I'm hungry. This is a long scene. Don't tempt him. Look. He can't see. He about to get mad. Wait! I knew it was going to get messy. Oh, Lord. The mason done got up. He said, let me get out of here. Damon done stirred up some shit. Who got stabbed? Oh. Don't knock over the princess now. What's happening? Oh, they done knocked over Sir Christian Cole. I don't know what's happening. Oh, he just, oh, he just punched me. Oh my God. Why is the guards just standing here not breaking shit up? Joffrey's getting his ass beat. It's a riot now. The king look like he about to fall over. Asses is getting beat. Oh Lord, the king is dying. What is happening? This is why I don't trust wedding bullshit. Who done picked up Rhaenyra? So Christian Cole is going in. I'm just a live commentary person at this point because I don't know what is going on. They kidnapping Rhaenyra. Why are you beating the wrong motherfucker's ass? Oh my God, beat the meat off his face. If Lenor is alive somewhere and all that, he, oh yeah, he is. That, that's gonna break his fucking heart. He is going to go the fuck off. And his dad know it. We stand here tonight in thanks and praise to join two souls as one. Yeah. Uh, about to kill himself. He that oh, heartbroken. Flesh. I ain't never. They both what lost their lovers. Was that his sick way of protecting her? Sir Kristen. Like he was thinking like, if we, if I end his lover and then I'm her lover and I end it, then there ain't no side pieces. There ain't no drama. There ain't no beat. Like, I, was that what he was thinking? Oh, the kingdom fell. No, I knew he wasn't gonna make it to the end. Oh. And then a rat come in. Oh, he was one of my favorites. 
Uh, halfway through, gut punch. I forgot in the beginning, y'all, uh, in my Discord, someone asked me to go through my favorite characters, and I forgot to do it at the beginning of the video. My favorite characters was King Viserys and Rhaenyra. Those are my two favorites, my only two favorite characters, and one of them just fell. Granted, though, I was prepared for him to die just because we've been seeing the slow decline of him through his illness. I knew it was coming. I didn't know it was going to be this episode, but damn. I just, I had a feeling, as you can see as the episode goes on with him coughing and he was getting weaker. I, I just knew he, was, he wasn't going to make it. Uh, but he was one of my two favorites. Now, I have one favorite. It's Rhaenyra. Um... They're my favorites because those two felt real. They they were not always going off the politics. They were playing to it because that's kind of what you got to do, right? You know, like you got to, you have a responsibility, but at the same time, they were human. Like the king loved his wife. That's rare. Like he actually loved her. I like the fact that he let his daughter choose love. She didn't pick it in time, granted. Um, but he gave her the option. You know, he does what, what's right. He keeps the peace. He kept the peace his whole reign. Um, even though thing, he, he kind of helped, uh, I mean, with the help of others and, and, you know, other forces at play, he, he helped keep the peace during his term, but he, a lot of stuff brewed during his time. And it, it all really started when he got picked over his sister. Uh, I think it was his sister, Rainies, the queen who never was. Um, because she was supposed to be, but it went to him. But he's kind of course correcting that by letting his daughter be heir. Um, which, again, like Otto said, the realm will go to war if they see a lady on the throne because it's just forbidden. Um, and he saw it all the way to his daughter to be wed. And he, he very clearly stated to people what he wanted to happen. Rhaenyra was supposed to marry Lenor. The kids can be born with the Valarian last name or whatever. But when they take the throne as heir, they have to be Targaryen because the Targary Targaryen dynasty has to last. I know at some point we get Aegon, the Mad King. He is the last king before King Robert. How we get, I don't know if that's his child or if it's his child's child. I don't know. Uh, y'all can clarify that in the comments if y'all want to. Uh, but we know Aegon eventually gets on the throne. Um, whether that be Rhaenyra's kid, Rhaenyra and Lenar, or whether some bullshit happens and they kill Rhaenyra or dethrone her or whatever they're about to try to do here. It's about to get very messy. <laughs> People want that throne and they are not afraid to do it with fire and blood. Um, Damon's not happy. He wants to marry Rhaenyra. Um, and they kidnapped her. No, they were trying to kidnap her. Or maybe somebody was just taking her out to protect her because it was going crazy in there. She obviously wasn't kidnapped because they just did a wedding scene. But I thought they were kidnapping her. And I'm like, well, what is going on here? And nobody was breaking it up. Sir Christian Cole beat the meat off this dude's face. He beat Joffrey's ass. I ain't never seen an ass whooping like that. Like, there was no more bone. Like, his bone was caved in. His meat was mushed up bloody. And he beat the shit out of him. And I, the only thought I can think, like I said, was that he's like, no, I'm not being her whore. He's not being King Lenor's whore. Because if that gets exposed, it's going to bring hell upon them, too. And in his own way, he really loves her. And he's like, I'm not going to let that happen to her. I'm going to kill myself. And he tried to get the queen to kill him. He's like, just don't torture me. Just kill me. Like, he loves her so bad. He's like, I have nothing to my name. He's like, you're all I want. And he's like, I can't have you, so I'm just going to end it. And that's crazy. That's wild. Um, I ain't never loved somebody that hard. You know what I mean? Like, no, I ain't going to just kill myself because I can't have you. That's that's another level of love. <laughs> um, But the queen stopped him, so we'll see what comes of that. She was not happy. Alicent was pissed off. She wore green, which meant war. So the, the other people said. Um, and I think because she found out Rhaenyra lied to her, not the exact lie she was expecting. She was expecting to hear that she slept with Damon, but it wasn't that. And so I think she's going to go back to taking her father's mission, which is pushing her children to be the heir some way, somehow. 
I do remember the Dance of Dragons. I remember the little history and lore, plus a little bit um, some of the characters in Game of Thrones told. The, and what brought that memory back out was she wore green. It was the war between the green and the reds. And I'm imagining Rhaenyra and the Targaryens will be the red and um, Alicent and her side of the family will be the green, her and her heirs. So I think they're definitely spicing up a war between the two sides. Um, Especially with how hard they were pushing to, to pit Alice and Rhaenyra against each other, which is crazy because they started the series off as the closest of friends and we just slowly see the diminishing of that um, as people keep interfering with their lives and as they're they're being pawns in other people's games. It's kind of crazy. Um, these The little mistakes they're making are growing into big mistakes with big consequences consequences they're trying to go around but they just kind of go back and they're just inevitable and it's just messy damon then killed his wife so now he's going to be lord of the veil vale, the rune stone whatever that is and he told oh boy i'll be seeing you um so i think i think it's official even though the king just died in the middle of the wedding weddings don't it ain't a wedding in Game of Thrones if somebody don't die during the wedding. Like, it's just, is, is it really official if you don't have death during a wedding? And if it ain't a character, I, you know, that I like? It, like, really? Like, I, I'm tired. So tired of weddings, y'all. Uh, so I think they're official. We'll see what kind of bullshit they try to pull in the next one. I'm exhausted mentally. This is a lot to follow. Um... Not how I seen it going. I I thought Sir Christian Cole would have been okay with being the whore. Like he knew what it was. Like you you have vows, she has duties. I mean, she can't just run off into the sunset. Had you got to her sooner before all this happened, I think one hundred percent she would have ran off. That was completely within her nature. But as she's growing and seeing, you know, that she's gonna be bound to her duties and She's really getting the pressure put on by her father and everything. And, you know, she now has that faith that he was going to stick by his word and let her be heir. When she, when maybe when she was more vulnerable thinking, oh, I'm not going to be heir or whatever, she would have ran off with him. But um, she's come a long way from being a cupbearer. She's not that girl anymore. So she's like, I mean, she's still rebellious, right? She, she struck up that deal with Lena. I was like, you know, let's pursue our own interests. You know what I mean? And she, his him and his partner was cool with it and she was cool with it but Chica Chico was like I'm nobody's for her uh you got me fucked up so and now we're here and I just lost one of my favorite characters um yeah those are my only two favorites um I like I said I like Chorus I like Rainies. I don't have any reason to dislike them I like I like watching Damon. I don't I haven't decided if I like him or not. He's very chaotic. I don't have any reason to dislike him though. He's cool. I'm cool with Damon. Um, don't like Otto. Don't he don't have like the Cersei Lannister level of hate to me, but I'm again I'm only on season one, so halfway through it. Um anybody else? Um I don't feel like I know any of the other characters well enough to have any type of feeling. Allison I don't have no reason to dislike her yet. Um we cool, but like I said, my favorites were Rhaenyra and King Viserys. So, that if that answers some of y'all questions, yeah, that, those are my favorites. And I just lost one. Um, thank you guys for watching, and of course, I'm gonna hear what you guys thought. Uh, be sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. I'm gonna go walk this one off. <laughs> and now my watch has ended. And now his watch has ended. And now his watch has ended.